So Kier, tell us about the National Society for Black Engineers. We have three focuses. We try to simulate students who are in high school and middle school to become engineers. Once they become, once they decide they want to actually become engineers and enter into like the college, their college um, career, we try to help them become successful student engineers, help them with their improve their GPA, improve their academics. Once they advance to the professional realm, we help them with professional development, helping them find a job. How many members do you guys have? Our chapter has maybe a hundred members. Uh, the organization maybe has at least 3,000, 4,000 members. So what's the biggest challenge that you see in terms of keeping, Af getting African American and minority students onto a science and engineering track and then keeping them there? Um, just, the real challenge is getting them motivated, yeah. getting them past the barrier that math is not actually, you know, it's not as hard yeah. as you think it is. You apply yourself, math can be easy, math can be fun, science can be easy, science can be fun. It's getting, it's getting them past that, um, that bias or that, that um, misconception that science and math can be hard and, and you know, I don't want to deal with it. I want to make, make we don't, like, do this, like, do what we're doing right now. We're trying to make them, make them understand that math and science can be fun, can be engaging. So, that's what we try to do. So you're speaking to the audience at Innovation Generation, right? They're high schoolers with a science and technology bent. Why should they get into engineering? Engineering has many benefits. You get, you get various career options that, 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 that they can open. It opens various, various doors. It opens various career doors open for you. Various, opens various doors for you as far as as far as a career. Um, you get various career options. Uh, of course, it pays very well too. Also, it's a very high demand field, engineering, especially computer science, mechanical, earth engineering, aerospace engineering. There's a high demand for it too. Because we, like right now, we have a shortage of engineers in this country, so we're trying to basically we're trying to basically increase that number of engineers in the U.S. to fill that gap.